visionaries from across the country had a dream a dream to see every visually impaired person educated included and empowered both in urban and rural india it was this dream that led to the formation of the all india confederation of the blind with modest means and lofty goals started with a meager sum of 300 rupees and a small rented room today we have a sprawling campus at rohini delhi a spacious and state of the art special school for the blind in gurgaon and a working premises in hyderabad along with 25 organizations of the visually impaired from all over the country affiliated to AICB as well as an annual budget of nearly 4 crores over the last 42 years AICB a self-help national organization of the blind has emerged as an organization with a difference where the visually impaired are not just passive recipients but active participants as professionals policy makers and significant contributors to the society realizing that more than 70% of the visually impaired live in rural areas mostly in a state of helplessness and poverty our constant commitment has been to work towards the empowerment of such persons across the country more than 6893 visually impaired men and women have been directly or indirectly supported and community sensitization achieved in 4440 villages of 17 districts but all this by no means is an easy task in absence of reliable data locating such persons in villages proves to be an uphill task in particular with support from the danish association of the blind two most backward districts in uttar pradesh jalon and pratapgarh have been chosen as we visit jalon one of the districts where cbr work is being carried out by aicb we observe that resistance is faced by our field workers from all around from the families communities and sometimes even from the visually impaired persons whom we target to help at times families do not even wish to disclose the presence of a blind member our field workers are sometimes perceived as intruders and asked to go back most communities and families can hardly believe that visually impaired persons whom they have virtually written off can one day not only earn their own livelihood but can also support their families and live a life of dignity training is the key to bring about such a transformation but those living in abject poverty and neglect in villages at times do not have the self confidence to make this effort after about 2 months however there is a 180 degree turn around in the scenario when we observe the blind persons once considered totally incapable are ready to stand on their own feet with aicb's hand holding we then open their bank accounts and give them a grant of 15000 rupees as seed money to kick start their economic activities tularam is a live example of the vagaries and fickleness of fate due to loss of sight at an early age his life was full of sorrow and wretchedness however he came out of his self imposed languidness and enthusiastically followed up on the training he received from our organization earlier a marginal green pea farmer 
our training made him independent our seed money facilitated proper irrigation through a sprinkler system and today he takes adjoining lands on lease and earns in the range of 100000 rupees annually driving through heaps of garbage and refuse one enters a narrow lane that leads to the brightness of shabnam store initially our team had a difficult time to convince shabnam's family to join our free training and rehabilitation program now her petty shop has a refrigerator to sell cold drinks milk and other perishable items and reports a sale of over 100000 rupees of cold drinks this season her neighbors and community members are happy to patronize her shop ye hamara to saman kahin se bhi lena hai paisa dena padega ye hamare bagal mein dukaan hai aur ye hamari kutiya jo rozgar thi usko rozgar mila hai to hum isko lete hain saman another visually impaired empowered woman rani used to depend on her cousins for survival everyone in her family had passed away and hence it was becoming difficult for her to meet daily requirements alone our team counseled and motivated her and today she takes care of herself even cooking her own meals The owner of the room she resides in was persuaded by our team to give her permission to use an abandoned ground floor tiny toilet as a petty shop. With the help of AICB, Rani is now a proud shopkeeper and offers relief to many by selling chilled cold drinks from her petty shop, earning a decent amount of 800 rupees to 1000 rupees per day. She has become completely independent and lives a life of self-esteem. Archana, now 32, was once a bubbling, energetic child. But at the age of 10, she was stricken with smallpox and became blind, thereby starting a life of despondency and lack of joy. She remained in this state for several years. Now, after training, she owns goats and is earning good money through goat rearing. Being in a state of extreme poverty, it was becoming difficult for Ram Lakhan to meet even his basic needs. As his family members worked as manual laborers they could not afford medication for his treatment with training and required assistance from AICB Ram Lakhan is now a successful milkman today his buffalo keeping skills ensure that 7 to 8 liters of milk is sold in the village and to the milk collection agencies and his monthly income is a healthy sum of 6000 rupees more importantly his and his family's nutritional standards have improved with milk curd paneer buttermilk and ghee now being integral part of their daily consumption Despite being separate individuals they all have been victims of discrimination and now share a collective identity in their success and joys The Ranis Archanas Shabnams Tularams and Ramlakhans are but symbols of the newly acquired self-worth and confidence in our rehabilitated rural blind and partially sighted persons our dedicated team of field workers project manager 
and advocacy officer help them throughout their journey and also ensure the benefits under various government schemes ye bahut achhi pehle aapki aur isse kafi log jo janpad mein hai blind log unko kafi laabh milega aur sasta aapka bahut acha kaam kar rahi hai ye to cbr ka kaam aapne bahut achhi pehle ki hai not just the lives of the individuals have changed the attitude of the entire community towards such persons has undergone a huge transformation their happiness has prompted them to reach out to others in similar situations and thus we take our work forward by forming chapters of our beneficiaries in the rural areas it is a unique attempt through which those who have walked a difficult path now come together to make the journeys of other visually impaired a bit easier this is real empowerment when the blind in the rural and poverty stricken areas can take account of their own affairs and make the path smoother for others Our affiliates located in various parts of the country are a strong link between the chapters in the villages and the AICB headquarters in Delhi. Part of our exercise is to motivate bank officials to support our blind and partially sighted persons. After their initial hesitation, they now feel confident to extend loans. for business expansion to our beneficiaries aapke ngo se jo log aaye the unhone accounts ke liye pehle mujhe bola aur loans ke liye bola to pehle mujhe laga thoda ki maine aaj tak ye kiya nahi tha loan maine blinds logon ka to pehle ek baar mujhe thoda sa dar bhi laga ki aisa na ho ke ye kaam kaise karenge ya mere jo repayment hai wo timely repay ho payega ya nahi ho payega to thoda sa ek dar tha but maine jab pehla kiya loan तो उसके बाद मुझे एक्सपीरियंस काफ़ी अच्छा मिला मतलब टाइमली उसमें रीपेमेंट आई है और कस्टमर को भी मैंने देखा है कि काम किया है उन्होंने लोन का जो यूटिलाइजेशन है वो किया है उन्होंने एज अ टेस्टमनी ऑफ इट्स सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द वर्क फॉर द ब्लाइंड इन इंडिया ए हैज बीन कन्फर्ड थ्री नेशनल अवार्ड्स फ्रॉम द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया and several other prestigious awards have been won by office bearers of the confederation the department of posts government of india released a special commemorative stamp to mark the silver jubilee of aicb in 2005 wherein the then president of india dr apj abdul kalam was the chief guest Despite traversing many milestones we pledge to forge ahead with even stronger commitment and vitality towards our mission to empower millions of visually challenged persons across India Come join us to bring about a transformative change by breaking age old prejudices against the blind and the low vision